In this video, we're going to be going over a couple of different ways that you can upgrade your RV batteries. We're going to be going over the six volt setup over here, and we're going to be going over lithium over here, kind of give some pros and cons and try to find out which application will be right for you. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. Uh, so on this channel, we do um, RV tips, tricks. We do destination travel, cruising, uh, camping, everything in between. In this video, we are going to be going over these two different uh, battery setups here and kind of who might it be good for? What are the pros and cons of, of each side? Uh, so let's just go ahead and dive into it, okay? So first thing uh, we are going to be talking about is price, okay? Uh, and we're gonna be going over relativeness, okay? So right over here, you've got your Costco GC2s. Uh, these are made by Interstate. They uh, cost right around 100 bucks a piece. Uh, you have to have two of them to make a 12 volt system. So a $200 investment uh, into this battery. And uh, these are 210 amp hours total, but do remember with lead acid batteries, you can only discharge them to 50%, which only gives you about 105 amp hours. On this side, we've got our lithium. This is an SOK 100 amp hour battery. Uh, lithium battery. This is not the Bluetooth model. This is just their vanilla version of the lithium battery. They've been having this out for a while. This guy is a legit battery. So with this, you can drop this thing all the way down. So you're going to have a hundred um, usable amp hours over here. That's what makes these comparable. So remember we got $200 over here. This battery by itself is $540. You're already going to tell me, hey, Glenn, that that's that's a no brainer over here. But um, the amount of cycles that you get for your money, this thing will win every time. You're going to have more upfront cost, but uh, this guy's going to win. You're going to be lucky to get maybe 500 cycles or so out of these batteries, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on how you treat them and how well you take care of them. Uh, with the SOK batteries, I saw on their website four to 8,000 cycles. And even those cycles, when you get to that point, you're still at, you're still getting 80% of um, that life of that battery. So even at full after, you know, four to 8,000 cycles, you're still getting 80 amp hours out of this. Once these things over here, once the GC2 start to kill off, that's it. So over time, you're gonna replace these most likely more often before you're gonna replace uh, this. So it's kind of an upfront cost there. In the long run, the lithium's gonna win. On the short side, definitely, uh, definitely the um, the six volts are going to win. Uh, so it just depends, you know, how long do you plan on keeping your trailer, stuff like that. The other thing uh, that we want to talk about um, the the elephant in the room is weight, because you know we're talking about elephants, talking about some weight. Uh, these guys weigh sixty pounds ish a piece. So for this complete system here, you're looking at 120 pounds of um, a battery. It's not light. This battery with the same amp hour usage uh, is only at about 30 amp hour or 30 pounds. 30 pounds, not amp hours, pounds. 30 pounds, 120 pounds. Uh, so it definitely uh, makes a difference if you don't have a lot of cargo weight and you want to put multiples uh, of these things on here, you're going to start racking up your rate weight really quick. If you're taking out these and putting in one of these, you're getting about 90 pounds back of cargo storage, things that you know you can bring. Plus, plus it's going to be a smaller footprint. So that's kind of, you know, you kind of have to think about that. The other thing that you have to think about with um, these batteries as well is the maintenance. Uh, that's another big thing. With the golf cart batteries, you do have to um, 
you know, fill them up with water every now and again, make sure that they're filled with distilled water so that the cells in there are not exposed. Um, and then you also have to make sure to keep the batteries charged. Um, if they get down below that 50% and then, then they, uh, they, they spend a lot of time down there, your 500 cycles are gonna go down into the toilet. They are not gonna last that long. So, there we go. Uh, with the lithium battery, its biggest drawback is trying to use it in cold weather. Uh, if you don't have battery protection and you try to charge this thing up um, somewhere below freezing, uh, you can destroy the, the lithium cells. And that's pretty much the biggest downfall for this. Like I can take these things out of my trailer, put them in my garage here, tuck them away for the winter, put a charge on them every month or so for a little bit. These things are gonna be fine. In fact, to be truthfully honest, if you have these things at about 80% or so, you can keep them in here for a, you know, at least three, four months, you maybe lose like 3% and then you can just pop them right back in the trailer. So it's definitely more of a hands-off thing. Uh, whereas when we're storing these things during the winter time, we've got to make sure to keep them trickle charged. So kind of something to think about with that. Now, another piece that uh, you have to also um, weigh in is, you know, how fast can you charge these batteries? Um, lead acid batteries and I also put you know AGMs kind of in the same bracket as this you know type of battery with the amount of you know power you get they can't take a lot of power very fast you're going to get a little bit of a bulk and then it's going to go into flow and it's it's going to take a while to get that last little bit of charge um, most converter chargers that are factory for this type of battery. Uh, we uh, did a test in our last trailer when we upgraded our um, our uh, our lithium into lithium over there. And before we hit that lithium switch, we were only bringing in about seven amps of power. It's not terrible, but if you're running a generator and you're wanting to charge up fast, this is going to take a lot longer. Now, when we flip that switch to lithium. We were then bringing in over 45 amps into our lithium setup. So seven to eight, up to 40, 45, you're bringing in, you know, four times the amount of power. So you can charge these things up a lot faster. And that's, you know, something you got to look at about, you know, how you camp and, you know, and all of that. So you're pretty much probably asking at this point, well, geez, that lithium battery is, you know, it's, it's, it's the winner. And not necessarily. Um, I am not gonna tell you that lithium is right for everybody. So if you are a weekend person in a trailer that doesn't have a lot of needs, you've got some LED lights, you still have a propane fridge, you know, you're a weekend person, you know, you don't have inverters and stuff like that drawing massive amounts of power, you're probably gonna be okay with uh, these GC2s. Uh, you're gonna get, you know, five plus years probably out of these batteries. You're gonna probably be just fine, okay? Now, where lithium shines is in higher power setups where you're running inverters, you're trying to run ACs, or you've got those high draw items. Now, our 2022 uh, Rockwood Mini Lane, our brand new trailer, it's a 2109S, came with a 12 volt fridge. And that fridge, um, we're gonna be doing testing on it to confirm it, but we have read reports that say these things will draw anywhere between 60 and 80 amp hours a day. Uh, that is a big, big, heavy dose of power. And so we felt that lithium for us in our setup is going to be the way to go if we're trying to go, you know, do that dry camping and not have to be completely reliant on, you know, plugging in the generator all, all the time. If I were to put these GC2s in there, I'd be lucky to get a day's worth of use um, just because of that 12 volt fridge. We're hoping that maybe it won't be so power hungry, but you know, we're, we're gonna plan for the worst and hope for the best. 
So that's where this guy would shine in lower setups, you know, weekend warrior kind of things uh, where you don't uh, have as much power need. Uh, these guys probably are going to be the way to go. If you're wanting that increased power, you want to be able to charge faster. You want to be able to run those high end, um, you know, high, uh, high power uh, items. And you want to run a lot more battery cells. Lithium is probably the way to go. Uh, the cool thing uh, with lithium, and I think this is a big piece that's going to be happening over the next couple of years. And I just want to touch on this for a second. If you're still here, you know, hit that like button. Thanks for hanging around. Um, but the big thing, um, there's that gap right now. You got $200, you got $540. Now this is a very high end, low budget battery. These things go up as high as $1,000 a piece, right? The lithium gap is starting to creep down. These batteries are gonna continue to get uh, more cheaper over time. Uh, the, the more manufacturers of them, the, as the technology evolves, the, these prices are going to continue to come down. And I think they're going to get to a point where something like this isn't even going to be cost effective anymore. You're going to be like, I might as well just get the lithium right off the get go because maybe it's only a hundred bucks more, or maybe it's only $200 more. There are already some lithium batteries that are in that three to $400 range. Um, I don't promote those. I don't know if they're good or not. I did my research and I found that SOKs uh, were, was a good brand. I like the serviceability of it. If I need to get in and do something to a cell, I can get in, um, we can make repairs, we can send stuff off and we can salvage the battery. We also did have Lion Lithium on our last trailer that um, we sold. It ended up staying with the trailer great batteries. Uh, these guys just had a better price point. And then obviously you've got Battleborn who is still pretty much right at the top there and they're a thousand bucks, but all these prices are going to start driving down. So that margin is going to continue to get slimmer and slimmer. So that's where you, you're not sure maybe which direction, but today there's still enough break in here to where if you're not doing as much with your power needs, uh, and you're only going out for weekends and stuff like that, these are probably gonna be just fine. Uh, those high power needs you may wanna look at doing some research with that lithium side. So um, you definitely wanna stay around um, for the videos coming down the road where we get to take uh, two of these SOK 100 amp hours and uh, do an install in our brand new uh, two month old mini light. Uh, it's gonna be a great install. We definitely look forward to that. Uh, if you're, you're still here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss us doing these types of videos. Make sure to uh, hit some of our playlists and stuff if you wanna see more on you know batteries and generators and you know stuff like that or any of our other travel that we do. Um, so hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss things where we take lithium and six volt batteries. We're gonna give you guys that honest uh, comparison. So until then, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.